Okay, let's talk about uh, primitive creation now. Pretty simple, of course, if you click, you have one primitive created, but there are a lot of tricks. If you right click, you will have primitive creation with uh, the right uh, setting directly create. Okay, you can even create a cylinder, for example, with the right axis directly this way. And as you see, if you have nothing selected, it will create at the center of the world. But if you have a um, selection and you click, it will place it on top of it. Why is it useful? Because most of the time you don't uh, model or create on the center of the world, but you are anywhere on the scene. And if you create a primitive, it's uh, pretty boring to, to go here. So when you model something, you just select, you have your sphere and you can work there. The last powerful thing is hide on the setting. You can activate it interactive mode. You activate that and now same thing, you have to select a mesh and now you can create on interactive mode on your mesh, not on the grid, on your mesh directly. So one more time, you have to select a mesh and you can create directly here. And you have to uncheck if you want to come back to the default mode. One last thing you have noticed, you have a size multiplier because some of you use a different Maya scale or even unit centimeter inch or thing like that. With this, you can, of course, easily choose how you want. Well, in interactive, uh, that have no sense, but by default, that will affect your primitive creation.